Hello friends, welcome to SQL Server uh, tutorial. In this uh, sub-series, we are going to see how to use the control structure if else as well as the looping while loop. There are other loops also, but uh, here we will take these two basic which will be useful for uh, further exploration. Just like other programming languages, SQL Server also supports if else statements. In the if portion, a condition is checked and based on the conditional outcome, flow route is taken. So the conditional outcome when we talk, it can be either true or it can be false. So based on this conditional outcome flow route will be taken here if you see we declared a variable called book type and it is holding a value of abc initially and this is the conditional expression book type equal to business and if you see the outcome of this expression so we call this as a conditional outcome the conditional outcome will be true if book type is holding the value abc otherwise it will return false here if you see in this case we will be getting false why because book type is holding the value abc when the body requires more than one statement it will be sandwiched between begin and end pairs so here if you see this is the condition right and in this body we have only one statement so here begin end may not be required but if you have more than one statement you have to sandwich those statement between begin and end so here this part will be executed when the above condition evaluates to true otherwise conditional flow will not come inside this body so we call this as a body the condition in the if portion may return false also in that case flow will move to the else part when one exists so here if you see when the condition returns true we will come inside but if it returns false we will not come inside this body so we can call this as a if body so we will not enter inside it so when condition returns false we will go to the else portion and else portion if you see we have so this is one statement semicolon is not mandatory but if you need you can keep it and if you see here we have three statements so here the begin end is required so there are two begin end pair so this one is for if portion and this one is for else body so when condition evaluates to false the time we will enter this else portion and we will start executing that now we will go to the demo and see how it works so for this example we are going to use the pubs database and even if you are in some other db when sql server executes this using statement it will automatically move to pubs in this if else portion we are going to use the titles table so if you see title title titles table contains a type column and there are a variety of types so business type of books are there this is cooking related book and this is a popular computer psychology traditional cooking then this may be modern cooking i guess all right so these are all the book types and here if you see 
we are going to form the if condition so here the declaration here is book type so this is the variable we are declaring and variable type is character and we are initially assigning a value abc into book type but the condition what it is checking is book type is business so here the condition will fail and it will not execute anything so now if i execute this block of code we won't see anything but uh, the moment i type book type as business so when book type is holding the value business the condition here returns true and if you see here we are making the select statement in the where condition we are substituting the book type so this will read as select title type price from titles where type equal to business and order by type so here order by is not required why because we have only one uh, type but in the else portion it will be useful all right at present we will just uh, explore the if portion now if i execute this is same statement we will enter inside this body and we will execute this select query by making use of the book type and book type is already part of the uh, conditional statement so the conditional outcome here is true all right now let me execute this and if you see it displays only the business book type now we will go with the else portion so here in the else portion if you see we have three statement when book type is not business let me keep it as abc once again here book type is not business so we will the conditional outcome is false and we will land into the else portion else portion contains a three statement this is one statement this one is a second statement and a third statement is the uh, select statement here we are since book type we are checking business right b u s i n e s s here instead of business we will use the abc here when book type is business we are displaying the business book type and if it is not a business book type we will display all the books other than this business book type so since the value is not business now the conditional check here will return false book type is abc abc is not equal to business so we will enter the else part and we will execute all this statement all right now we will select the script portion here and execute it and if you see in the type you will not see a business book type that's all that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye